Hiya, I'm just going to talk about my sketchbook to try and uh, show my creative process and how I work. Actually, rather than a sketchbook, it's more like a file. I've made it like this so I can take information in and out as my creative process so, uh, evolves. So at the moment, I've got, at the front, I've got all my research and into my um, trends. Uh, so the colour palette that I be began with um, and a little bit of the story of my trends. I've got my word map with some of the words that um, Eco Wireless um, depicted for me, like uh, ecological, um, environmental, uh, where you try natural fibers etc then i went into my artist research doris arcedo um i enjoyed how she um she, well she describes art as um a, a way of uh, communicating her political views and um i also enjoyed from what she said about uh art Although it has to say a message, it also has to be silent. Um, so I decided to look into the YU tribe and I got inspired by Doris, her being from Colombia. Um, and my daughter bought a hat and it was made uh, from the YU tribe. So that made me investigate a bit more. I looked at other artists like Tom Bander, I can't say his name, Bust, Tom Bander Bust, um, and Susan Hodgkins, or Hodgkins, sorry, and I enjoyed from Susan Hodgkins how she uh, manipulated the fabric um, from a photo, trying to uh, record a sense of place. So I did some research on her work and made my notes. Um, and like Susan Hodgkins, I'm quite interested in, in colour. So I was trying to uh, study a little bit of colour. So that's all my notes. I then started investigating uh, how to dry, uh, dye natural fabrics and how I can manipulate colour, but in an ecological way. So, lots of notes uh, on different foods and vegetables that I can use, like raspberries, onions, all sorts. So these are all the notes on that. I then looked at different shapes and how I could um, use concrete, um, maybe new ways that I hadn't explored. So I've got visuals of, of that here. Then I went into writing my essay um, and Doris Salcedo and um, Billy Sanguerga. She also uses uh, fabrics and collage to depict a woman's world. So this is where my story begins in um, exploring what the Wayu tribe and how I was going to implement um, their struggles into my work. So at first I, I was conflicted in whether to represent their place. So this is my research into their story and uh, how a mine was built and it took away all their water uh, so therefore there's loss of life and how the the rivers which they believe are, are the veins of mother earth how that's drying out therefore you know um their their, their life is changing so here's a, a little bit of research of fabrics and dyes and so then i went into um more visuals about the coal mine and the dry arid um, territory and then the river five the river five colors and the complete contrast in um terrain 
from being very rich to being very poor and arid. So this is my uh, investigation into dyes with tea bags, raspberry, red onion, mustard, which was the mustard, the yellow came from uh, the Wayu um, veils that the women wear in the desert. Uh, more visual, visual research on the, the areas that I was interested in. Um, here's a, a, a little a list of the things that I was going to investigate, like natural dyes with food and veg, using discarded materials, burning plastics and concrete. I mean, all of this is in my blog. Then how to use bulldogs uh, to manipulate my fabrics to arrive at different... Um, different patterns and therefore try to depict some of the terrain. This was um, some of my monoprinting uh, visuals that I used. So these were my uh, visual research, my first samples um, on how to maybe depict the mountains and that's part of the veil um, or using copper as a material that doesn't really belong uh, because I learned from Dor Doris Salcedo that um, this is an un uncomfortable subject so I tried to make the sample uncomfortable. Um, these are other samples and a little bit of my analytical work and what works and what doesn't. Then I got sidetracked with maybe using the faces of the YU people to depict their story um, and more analytical work here uh, exploring embroidery on my mono, mono print trying to create layers um, into my work um, and then some details that I, were in, I was interested or liked uh, like the burning fabrics, the fusion of natural and unnatural. Um, the, the more images for my monoprints. Um, and then I started to explore with um, how could I transfer my drawings in, onto fabric and how could I distress them? Could that be of interest for me? So that's some of the exploration on that. And here's like uh, printings of my original mono, mono printing and exploring colour, colour and yeah, um, and disappearing faces um, to depict um, a tribe that is just very quickly disappearing and why and um, the pain that's causing. Again, more samples of me transferring my mono painting on to fabric in this case calico and how I could distress it to make it look old I explored um, with metal and with the pattern of the dye again more these are the originals so I can take them out um, so I like the feeling of the paint, how it's not glossy, it's matte and it's raised. No. Uh, and more analytical work on. So then I went into exploring my mono printing on my dyes, natural dyes, and what, what would happen then. And then to embroider. On, on top of my mono printing, as I said before, to create layers. Then I was um, exploring uh, the, in what context would I use it. So I looked at rubbish bags as, as lives that are, that you can throw away and, um, or treat it like rubbish because they're losing their rights. Um, and then, so it's a little drawing of how I would use this in a museum. Um, here's details of the embroidery and the uh, almost paper mash that my drawing became. Um, 
and more monoprints of the ladies in the in the desert just to give me a sense of story because at this point I became a bit confused of what I was doing and then I decided you know what I'm going to I, I, it's getting too complicated so let me just um, dip it place so I started sketching my idea of the YU territory and doing some more drawings um, and watercolours and then building these on my computer to see what I arrived of and this is um, I sent this to a company to be printed to see if I could print it on linen um, so more drawings uh, these are the ones I use to layer and here's more explorations on like ha you know what would happen if I use clay with fabrics you know how would that affect the fabric and you know it's just little explorations more drawings and more analytical work um, and other ideas uh, refining my ideas and to to then select what I wanted to take forward so that's all that um, here using and then I thought I simplify it by using natural fabrics and manipulate those fabrics to depict place so that's what these are these are a little bit more refined where before it was lots of ideas lots of um, techniques I've kind of reduced it now to what really did interest me and I thought would fit in with my trends. This is depicting the river of five colours, so I thought I'd keep it simple and then just use accent of colours and threads. And this is depicting the, the, the coal mine, how it's dark and it leaves the territory dry and arid. More dry and arid. So those are my samples and then in in what context would I use them and these are some some images of my museum that or how I would use it in in a in a museum so lots of ideas there to conclude I concluded that I would use it like a combination of um, some of my samples making them into seats for people to be able to sit down and look at my other samples or pieces of art and maybe with uh, the YU drums playing at the background to give a sense of place and to, to be able to sit down and reflect on what's happening in the environment and here's samples of here's their visuals of my samples against uh, my original uh, visual research just to give sense of what I was trying to do um, so that's those and um, yeah um, and there's quite a few there and then at the end I've got notes of my work and what I wanted to, to bring forward and um, make my capsule collection okay thank you thank you